Hey, what's cracking, YouTube? Uh, so we back with uh top ten dark movie theories. So, uh, this is the part two. So, um, last one I said uh most of them were like him miss. They weren't all that good. A couple of them I found pretty interesting, but. I've heard of this one before. It's, uh... Peter Pan is basically the angel of death. That's... Uh, so... Let's take a hit and get right into it, cuz... Peter Pan. Oh, Peter! I knew you'd come back. Well, so much for this whimsical children's tale. There are numerous theories regarding Disney's Peter Pan, and a lot of them boil down to Peter Pan being a childish Grim Reaper and Neverland being the afterlife. One theory posits that Wendy dies of leukemia and Peter guides her to the afterlife, also known as Neverland, where many of Wendy's real-life acquaintances are cartoonishly exaggerated. Another theory posits that Wendy, John, and Michael all died, were transported to the afterlife by Peter, and met more dead children, also known as the Lost Boys. Why do you think they never grow up? Well, if you died in childhood, you literally can't. Well, I'm certainly proud of you, you blockheads. Number three, Toy Story 3 is about the Holocaust. Yeah, see, so that one... That one right there about Peter Pan, I can I can actually believe it, cause uh, you know, it just it all makes sense. I don't know if they didn't they don't really put a lot of background information into this and the reasons why, but look at a there's like shit tons of different videos on that one. Just look up uh, Peter Pan conspiracy theories and it'll show up with a list of them because just choose one. I, I bet it's way more detailed than this one. But anyway, let's continue. Toy Story 3 is about the Holocaust. What the fuck? Cost. Toy Story 3. Come to Papa! <laughs> We all know that Toy Story 3 is the saddest movie ever, but this theory does the seemingly impossible by making it even sadder. To begin with, the toys are left behind, similar to the Jewish people in Germany during the Third Reich. They then discuss what happened and what to do in a scene very similar to The Pianist, and Buzz suggests going to the attic like Anne Frank. We're going into attic mode, folks. Keep your accessories with you at all times. They're then transported in a box, like a train, to a daycare full of undesired toys, like a concentration camp. Here, they're mistreated and eventually sent to an incinerator. We're not sure if this was intended or not, but the parallels are heartbreaking. Number two, Doc Brown was trying to commit. I that one actually made a little bit of sense, cuz. Fuck, crap. <laughs> Shit. That, cuz, that actually made a whole lot of fucking sense, but. I saw it more as like fuck, fucking jail or prison than I saw it as a fucking concentration camp, and then the inc they weren't sent to the incinerator. Uh, well. They weren't necessarily sent to the incinerator. Wait, yeah, they, I guess they were, huh? Shit. I'm high as fuck, cuz. But, damn, huh? Shit, crap. Damn, I'm gonna have to think about that a little bit more. Damn. <laughs> fuck, cuz. Suicide. Back to the future. Ah! Marty, you made it! Yeah! Have you ever wondered why Doc was standing in the path of the DeLorean? Well, wonder no more. According to this theory, he was suicidal. Right before sending the DeLorean back in time, Doc laments his many past failings, which speaks to motive. 
he feels like a failure. It's taken me almost 30 years of my entire family fortune to realize the vision of that day. He's also being hunted by the Libyans, and perhaps plans on killing himself before they can. As Doc sees it, it's a win-win situation. Either the time machine is a success and his work respected, or he dies and his trouble with failure and the Libyans die with him. If so, he fully intended on taking both Marty and Einstein with him. Einstein! Hey, Einstein, where's the doc, boy? Number one, Willy Wonka. That's fucked up, cuz. On some real shit. Fuck, cuz. Damn. Crap. Huh. This shit's just blowing my mind right now, cuz. I'm, I'm just looting this shit on this fucking weed. On this fucking. On that shit. Damn. Uh, follow y'all at it just in case y'all wondering. Uh, this second video I is been recorded right after the last. That's why I'm in the same clothes. Um, but damn, my mind is jumping all over the place, cause Chris, <laughs> that. I can't even think, cuz. Anyway, Willy Wonka's. I think that's fucked up, though, cuz. If Doc was really trying to commit suicide, though, why the fuck would he take Marty with him? That's on some pussy ass shit, cuz. That ain't no gang shit right there, cuz. That's some pussy ass shit, cuz. I mean, I don't get y'all fucking. I don't get it. I don't get it. Why would you want to take it? I get one in a, if he would, I get, I don't get why he would want to kill himself, but I don't even get that shit, but on some for real, for real shit, cuz why the fuck would you take Marty and the dog with you, cuz why would you take the little dog with you, cuz that's some dumb shit. Ooh, that made me mad, cuz on crib, that made me mad. Anyway, let's continue to the next one. Wonka's candy is made from dead children. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. My chocolate! Ah! Whoa, 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 cuz. Whoa. Huh. I don't really like that one. Hey, my dog just came to react in the video with us. Come on, come react with us. Look at my dog. Ain't she adorable as fuck, though? Ain't she adorable as shit? She my favorite dog in the world, because she's such a good dog. Anyway, let's continue to the video. My beautiful chocolate! Throughout the movie, it's established that Willy Wonka is a candy genius, as his candy tastes far better than his competitors, perhaps indicating a secret ingredient. That secret ingredient? Children! At least according to this theory. Wonka brings children into his factory under the guise of a tour, then rigs his factory into a massive death trap to capture the children. This would explain his uncaring attitude towards the kids' health and safety. Don't just stand there, do something! Help. Police. Who the fuck is gonna exactly help him? Cuz if none of y'all niggas is willing to jump in there, I wouldn't ruin that nicely fucking, that nice suit for nothing. Cuz fuck you mean he save him. Bitch, why don't you jump in after him? He's your kid, cuz you white ass bitch. Fuck, you crazy as shit. Crew. But. I don't know. I don't know. I thought they all left at the end. Or is that in the new one? I, th I just thought... I, I don't know. I thought they all, like... These kids got away. Or they lived somehow through it, but... That movie's fucked up, if you really think about it, but... Willy Wonka's chocolate ain't the best, neither, cuz. Check this shit out. Check this shit out, cuz. Willy Wonka's chocolate ain't got shit on it, cuz. Boom. That's the best chocolate right there, cuz. Hey. Hey, maybe Hershey's will get fucking, uh. 
Send me some free shit for that Hershey's. Hershey's chocolate, cuz. Fucking non sponsored, but Hershey's. Hit me up, cuz. Give me some free shit. <laughs> Crap. It would also explain the human sized pipes and how the boat and Wonka mobile don't have any vacant seats. Wonka knew the numbers would dwindle because he had every intention of murdering those children and using them for his candy. Stop, don't come back. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mode. I. I. I don't know why the fucking. That, that's a good question. Why did all the fucking spots get smaller? Apparently, my girl knows why. Why? Because children don't know how to listen. Because children don't know how, That's exactly why. This motherfucker knew. It wasn't no death trap, cuz. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's my girl over there. Say hey. Alright, so. This nigga, this nigga knew these kids. Like, he's like, alright, alright. I'm, I'm for real. I'll be for real with you. I got all these little crack ass kids gonna come on my tour. I know at least one of these kids is gonna be good. The rest of y'all fucking suck dick. That's that's what it is. And then the the one good one, he's like, I'ma just take up in an elevator because we all on acid or some shit. No. <laughs> they were tempted from the get go. Yeah. With the gobstopper. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know, cause anyway, that let me know if you want to see more shit like this. Like I said, I just needed something to do. I just wanted a video to react to today. I got nothing going on. But anyway, Kit Kat, see cool, all that on gang.